Hi everyone, by now we've got your Rosio box. Uh, I'm doing this at my house with my phone rigged up in the weirdest way. So I'll go through it and we will talk about what's inside your box. So first of all, you have a couple of balloon animals, which are these things here. And I've put inside your box a couple of straws as well because you'll need those to blow them up, given that there's also a helium shortage in the world. Uh, yeah. And there's a couple of elastic bands because when you blow your dog up, you want to seal it. The ends of these are a little bit difficult. You've sort of got to wriggle it around a bit and just persevere with it and then squeeze it sideways like you would if you're opening a rubbish bag or a bag at the shops and you can see that it opens there like that and then you slip your straw in and you blow away it doesn't take long great exercise for the kids Oh my goodness, I'm not good at blowing up balloons like this. Oh, that's why. Make sure you seal that off because I was blowing and the air was just coming straight out. Silly me. Oh, you've got to figure out a way of tightening that off as you pull the straw out. And don't glide up too big, otherwise you'll pop your dog. Once you've done that, and that really was a pop dog, just get an elastic band and tie it around there or twist it and tie it into a knot. That's your balloon dog. The other thing that you've got in here is one of these. This is for your slime. It's really, really important that you use a, a syringe to get out exactly the amount that you need inside your slime. Your slime's got everything you need inside it. You need to put in only three mil into this. I'm gonna go and find a syringe. I'll be right back. Inside your kit, you would have got two lots of slime. So I'm just gonna make sure that you can see me. Yes, you can. And you would have got one of these and this is your activator you need to use only three mil of the activator don't use any more your kids are going to say it's not working it needs more activator it doesn't please don't put more activator this recipe is very very precise so three mil of activator pop it in and then start stirring let me get a spoon where is my spoon there's my spoon I'm going to move all this out the way. So you start stirring it. It starts to set pretty quick. As you can see, it's going really well. And just keep stirring it. Keep stirring and don't stop. Your children are going to say to you, put more activator in, put more activator in. But I need you to resist and don't put activator in, boys and girls. If you put too much activator in, it's not going to work. So what happens is it goes like this. And you're gonna say more activator, but don't, don't do it. Once it gets like this, this is where the fun starts. You can pour that on the table like that. And you can pour that on any table and start playing with it, because this is slime. This is Rosio Super Slime. Mix it around. And you can see that it's starting to come together really nicely. That was fast. It's a bit of activator there. I don't want that to go on my slime. Keep mixing like this and just keep mixing. As you go, it will change colour and it will be sticky. See, you don't need more activator. Just keep going like that. Make sure you get all the slime and all the mix off here because you need this. You really do. Keep mixing. Don't stop. Get all the spare out of your container. Roll it around. And that's pretty much how you get your slime to work. I like to get everything out of the container because, oh, excuse me, 
If you want to use this as bubble mix, that's right, you heard me right, you can turn this into bubble mix and make fantastic bubble mix. Out of this little lump of Ferrozio Super Slime, you can make one litre of bubble mix. Right, so that's pretty good. As you can see, that's really lovely. The good thing about this Super Slime, the Ferrozio Super Slime, is it doesn't stick to your hair, doesn't stick to your clothes, doesn't stick to your dog or your nana. Look, watch, see? Look at my clothes. Oops. See, it doesn't stick. If you did by chance get it on your clothes prior to getting it to this stage, you just throw it in the washing machine. To keep your slime nice, keep it in the container with the lid on and keep it in the fridge. It will go back to a clear colour, uh, but then the more you play with it, the more it will go to this beautiful creamy colour. You can make it really, really flat on a table because it's not going to hurt anything. And you can see how far you can stretch it out. You can turn it into fart slime. And what fart slime is, is once you've got it stretched out, you can make air bubbles in your slime. You throw it over like that. Just keep folding it over to put air bubbles inside it. Pick up any leftovers. And then when you squeeze it together, well, you probably can't hear it, but it makes farty crunchy noises. Um, what else can you do with it? You can blow bubbles with it. So like that, like bubble gum. What I love to do with mine is stretch it out. We managed to get it 10 meters long by doing this. It's so pliable and lovely. And you can, you know how the people make noodles? How you can stretch it like this and just keep stretching it and stretching it. You can make it like long and stringy. You can make it bounce if you play with it long enough. You can actually get it like flubber. Now mums and dads might know what flubber is, you may not. I'm a child of the 60s, so I remember Flubber. You could get that movie out on Netflix if you want. And then you can almost bounce it. Once you've played with it for a long time, it becomes bouncy. So you can fold it. You can twist it. You can tie it in a bow. And it's not going to wreck your house. Have fun. I'll tell you later how to turn it into bubble mix. When you've had enough of playing with your slime, what you can do is you can turn it into bubble mix. So you take your slime and you break it up into little pieces and you pop it into a cup of hot water and you stir it until it's all dissolved. I probably need another cup of hot water. You want it hot enough like it's come out of a, uh, a coffee machine. Don't boil a kettle and do it. You just want it hot enough so that it will dissolve. And then you just keep mixing it and stirring it until it's dissolved. If you do that straight away, in this pack here, you would have, I think it's about 82 grams of slime. Um, so 82 grams of slime will give you uh, a one litre pot of bubble mix. If your children play with it, boys and girls, if you play with it and you lose bits of it, then you probably wouldn't be able to add the full one litre of water. So once you've got this all lovely and dissolved, then you can add in the two cups of cold water. I'll just see how much that is. One. I need to get one more cup. Two cups. And stir it up. I hope I've got a bubble wand here. I don't think I have, but that's okay because you can use your hand. Or you could maybe try and see if the straw works. Yep, the straw works. How cool is that? So, because you've got two lots of slime in your kit, if you're one child, you're lucky you get to keep one lot of slime and you uh, get to play with the other as bubble mix. And you've just got to mix that and keep mixing it. I possibly put a little bit too much water in, but when you do your two cups of hot, make sure it all dissolves and then add a cup of cold and then slowly add another cup of cold uh, and test it as you go because you may not need to add the full second cup of cold water. I see that's still not quite right, but I'm sure you'll do a great job. Have fun. This 
of this. These are your bath salts. And these are great. I love these. I would put these all into little containers so your children can use teaspoons and layer it into uh, the plastic containers you can use. I know there's a lot of plastic, but you know, we had to make do with what we had. Um, and then they just layer it. Uh, you can layer it sideways, so if you wanted to, you could put like some pink in here and then tip it, so layer some pink in there, and then keeping it tipped on its side, then you can oops, layer some white over this side and you can see the, diff, the, the design that you would get and then you tip, turn it around and you can layer some more this way, this way. You end up with some really great designs. You can also get pieces of cardboard and put it in there, like make a funnel so you can get the uh, bath salts, some call it sand, the bath salts in different places. It's a fabulous uh, hands-on activity for your fine motor skills and good for colours as well. We're going to be coming out with some plaster painting mould sets soon. Uh, I have an idea about flags. I'm going to send out flags to people so that your children can decorate flags and pop them on their front lawn or in the window. And I think it would be nice to have flags of hope so you can do a message or a picture um, showing everyone you know, the good things in life. All right. I hope that helps. Oh, the other thing, kites. I'll have to get the kites for you. The other thing you've got in your kit will be these sand cards with your picky stick and your sand. The tip that I'm going to give you with this is do your dark colours first. So with this, I'm deciding that I want to do uh, purple for spots here. So I remove the little bits here. Don't When you're doing it, boys and girls, don't dig hard because you just want to take the top layer off. If you dig hard, you'll take the sticky off and then that won't work for you. So don't do that. P pick off everything that you want to do the dark purple on. So I'm going to pick all that off. wonder what else I should do for dark purple. Maybe I will do the coconuts dark purple because I love purple. So I'll go up here and take the purple off. So you just start it on the edge and then once you've done that, you can use your fingers. Um, and use your fingernails because nobody bites the nails anymore. Make sure you wash your hands. Then you take the colour that you want and you just need to sprinkle a little bit like this. You don't need a lot. You've got enough sand here that you can buy some more sand cards from me and uh, spend a whole lot of time decorating. Right, there we go. So you put, sprinkle the, cut, the sand on the card like this. And then what you do, because you want to save your sand, is you just tap, 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 tap into the middle and you can put it back into the container. Look, how cool is that? So the next colour I might do will be the light, a lighter colour. Um, if you are a little bit concerned about whether or not you can get it back into the container, put it into a pudding bowl or a dessert bowl or put some newspaper down. You can tap it like that onto it and then pick up the paper and tip it in. So uh, the next colour I might do might be... Uh, Let's do some green. So very carefully pick the corner and go around like this. This is going to look beautiful. Get a little bit of green. Just go sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't use too much because you want to save it so you can do all your cards. You can use your fingers. Use your fingers and rub it around like that. And then do the same thing again like I did before and just tap, tap, tap. And that's how you do sand cards. You could take the black lines out if you want to, but I don't worry about that. I like to leave the black lines. I might show you this when it's finished. Your kites come complete with everything except wind. Unless you're one of the people that have been buying all the baked beans in the shops, then you may have some wind at your house. Or if your dad's really good at farting. All right. So, to do this, you're just going to, you're going to move that down there, that's the bottom. These little sticks here come out and they get put in here. So into these holes here and you stretch the kite out and pop that in that side and do the same on the other side, stretch it out. It's very hard using my phone to do the video. Um, I couldn't work out my webcam, so sorry about that. 
When you go fly your kite after you've decorated it, you need to add your string on here. Add your string on there. And then what you'll do, oh, that's not in exactly the right place. I'll have a look at it and work it out. Uh, you need to work out where this goes. So while your child's colouring it in, have it flat like that. When you go to fly it, you may need to move this to adjust the lift of the kite. So these do fly, they fly very, very well. And then you have your string that you just tie on here. And yeah, have fun with it once you've decorated. These are fantastic, they fly very well. Uh, and it's just great fun decorating them. Oops, I've lost my tail.